Alright guys, we're back with Jolly Bait Company today. We're going to make some baits for you guys and we're going to start a new series which is going to be different colors that you guys want us to make. Just drop them in the comments. Any color, any brand. We'll try to go by and get it as close as we can. Maybe add our own little twist to it. But we're going to show you step by step how they're made, the amount of drops and the amount of flake. If you're wanting to make them for yourself or if you just want to see how they're made. We'll put them up on the website as well if you want to purchase them. So uh, check that out. But other than that, let's go ahead and get it started with our first color. All right, the first color we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys on my computer. It's called Yabby Mudbug. And one of my buddies has used it before and says it works pretty good. It's a green pumpkin, looks like, with chartreuse and orange flake, maybe. It might be copper flake. But we're gonna give it a go and see how it turns out. First cup of plastic heated up, we're gonna start out with green pumpkin. And for the main color for all the baits, I like to do 40 drops per cup. So we're going to go ahead and start out with 80 drops since this is a two cup of plastic right here. After looking at the picture of the color on the website, a little more, it has a little darker tint than regular green pumpkin. So what I think I'm going to do is add about 20 drops per cup of brown and since green pumpkin is already a dark color it shouldn't take it over too much but we're going to go ahead and give that a try all right now it's, we're ready for the flake and after looking at maybe other ways that other people's tried making the color before some people think it might be green in there some people might think it's chartreuse which is what we're going to use today uh, but really there's no really way of telling since i don't have the baits with me but today we're going to use chartreuse for the big flake and copper and small flake. I would use copper and big, but this is all I have. So we're going to just use this for today. And with big flake, you want to do a little more scoops because it's not going to take up as much space in the plastic. So we're going to probably do one drop per cup with the chartreuse. And with small flake, you don't want to use as much. So we're going to go ahead and start out with about half a scoop of copper and see how that turns out and this is a fourth of a teaspoon whenever I use a scoop so that's just for you guys to go by all right giving you guys a closer look at the color I'm not liking the way it looks with the chartreuse being big because I feel like the copper is not really seen so well and I think I'm gonna give the orange a try just because in the picture uh, there's two big flakes in that char chartreuse and orange I think will look a little closer to it So we're just gonna add a little bit at a time and see how it looks All right, I'm liking the way the color looks we're gonna make it in the Helgramite which is this right here. We got the two molds ready to go. So let's go ahead and get them injected. Kinda wanna go slow, but at a steady pace. So no bubbles will be in the baits. Then top them off. We'll wait a few minutes and see how they look. All right, it's time to check out the Yabby Mudbug color. Ready to go, they're cooled down. And there it is in the Helgramite. In first glance at it, it looks pretty close. It's a lot more bright than on the picture, but then again, it's online, so the uh, picture will be a lot harder to see what the actual color is. And I think it looks really good. I would definitely use this color where I'm from. Get the camera to focus on it there. But yeah, it's got the green pumpkin. It's just a little darker. Chartreuse and orange flake. And there's the other six in the mold. Looks perfect. They get turned out really good. 
for the next color I'm going to show you guys is this mud fleck color and I've seen it used before on like YouTube videos and I really think it looks good it's got just a lightish brown kind of transparent with a lot of blue flake so I think we can definitely give this a go all right after looking at the picture I'm going to use this amber color for our main color on the plastic and we're going to add a little brown to make it a lot darker because the body looked dark and the legs looked like this amber color so we're going to go ahead and add 40 drops of this first all right now since this is a little bit of a lighter color than that green pumpkin when adding the brown we're going to add a little less at a time just so we don't add too much so i'm going to start out with five to ten drops and then go from there all right so i've added about 25 drops per cup to the plastic of brown so that was a lot more than i expected but it's kind of looking a lot more what I want it to, so now let's go ahead and add the blue flake. As in the picture, there's a lot of blue flake, so we're going to add the big and small flake of blue. We're going to add two scoops of the big. And go ahead and add probably about half a scoop of the blue in the small. Might add another half scoop in a second, just after we see how much is in here. I think that looks really spot on. I think we're just gonna stick with the half scoop of small. I think we're ready to inject them. All right, now we can check out the mud flat color and the hooker mite. And check it out. I think it looks spot on of the picture and definitely something that I would use where I fish at. It's got the brown color on the body and then the amber color on the legs. It's transparent and a lot of blue flake. And there's the other six. They all turned out pretty good. There's going to be our two colors for the day. We got the Yabby Mud Bug by Zoom and the Mud Fleck by uh, Yum. And I think they turned out pretty good. I think the Mud Bug may have been a little too brighter than what I was wanting to happen, but then again, it could just be the picture is a little darker. But I think the Yum turned out my favorite. I really like the way that looks. But that's going to be it for this first video of the series. Just drop in the comments, guys, what you want to see next, the colors you want to see next. And we'll get on them as soon as we can. But uh, we got four packs of each color that will go up on the website very soon. And y'all just check out our website and our other videos till then. And we'll see you next time.